Hello everyone, this is uh, Roy Story, and this is my run of Felix a Cat for the uh, Game Boy. This is a part of uh, the, the NES game uh, that came out around, I think, 92. And, and this game came out six or seven months after that. Uh, th this game is a lot like the NES game. There there are uh, several differences, some which, well, some which I'll get, get into later. Uh, base, basically, in this game, it's a general platformer. For every ten of those Felix heads you collect, um, you, you get a, get a new power up. Kind of like in um, kind of like in the Mario series where like power ups are kind of your help, in a way, or at least early games. So um, so basically, this this first level is 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 really basic. It, it can be kind of kind of tricky at a a uh, uh, couple points. Um, here I know I I screw up because um, I was trying to dodge them all, but. I just, I was just being an idiot. You, you usually you don't you you don't always need the power ups for certain levels. Um, there are certain cases where I will need them. Most mostly it's for the bosses that I need the power ups, and then there's a couple key stages I I will need them. But other than that, it, it's 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 kind of whatever you got. But it, it's not like the NES version where it's like most runs you see you just have the magician. Um, the magician power up because the magician power up is a uh, super good in the NES version here. I mean, it's it, it's still good here, but they give you more incentive to use the other other power ups over it. So so the second stage is, is honestly a little better deal with the first. So and now we have the first boss. If you're in a tank, um. Most of these bosses only take uh, four hits, which is why I try to get the tank before then. And and you can see I have uh, forty nine um, Felix heads in the bottom right. Um, you'll about to see with this next stage because they give you a different set of transformations for this stage. And there's o there's only three for this stage. This is a flying stage. You get three. You get the regular Felix. You get the you get the hot air balloon, and then you get the plane. And I, I usually like uh, starting off with nine Felix heads so I can immediately get the balloon so it gives me the plane sooner. Um, yeah, like for, for, for points like that. <laughs> but usually I don't get hit by that bird, but that was that was, that was kind of a screw up right there. And the thing is, there's uh, there's there's two flying stages in this game. I think there's I think there are several more in the NES version. I could be wrong, but um, but whatever transformation you had at the end of this stage, it actually automatically goes into the next flying stage you do, which is really good because I really, I really do need the plane for uh, the next flying stage. Excuse me. So this is a pyramid stage, and um, this is one of two times in which I take a, uh, I go I go down a, one of the big top hats. Um, top hats are to this game what uh, the pipes are to the Mario games. In 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 that you go down them, and sometimes you'll teleport somewhere else, or you'll find um, items. Usually in this game, most of the time, um, the top hats just have like the Felix head, so I don't really bother going down them. But that that pipe right there actually teleported me a little further in the stage, so that's one of the ones I I, I definitely want to go down. And I got I got a tank. It gets a little tricky here. I try I I, I try to avoid. So I get to the boss. I can just kill him before hits. This guy's pretty easy. Every three jumps, he shoots a bullet, and it's pretty simple. So this is a mountaintop. This, this 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 stage can like really really suck near the end. Um, this, this yeah, and this is the second part where I'll go down a top hat. This top hat right here, which will take me a little further down the level. And there's that block which I always seem to get stuck stuck on. I always forget about it. Um, the problem with this stage is that so, 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 some of the enemies are 
positioned on platforms that you want to land on. So you have a really big chance of just running into them, losing your power. At the end of here, there's one certain enemy right here. This turtle, like, it's like a 50-50 chance where I get hit by that turtle or, turtle or don't. Sometimes I manage to jump over him, and then other times it's like, whoops, I lose my power up. Which really, really sucks, because for the next platforming stage, I really needed a tank, but... I mean, at, at least I got the car, and I'm not a magician. If I was that magician, I'd be in a lot more trouble. But anyways, here's the second flying stage, and... As as you can see, I I uh, they they transferred over the plane <coughs> that I had the last time, and the plane had I don't want to say it's like a hitbox. It's like it's sort of a much smaller block than the other flying um, forms do, especially for like that that little wedge right there. I couldn't fit through it with the air balloon, so it, may, it makes it a lot better. If if you see in the lower right, my heart my hearts are kind of going down. Uh, in in uh in 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 this game when you get a when you get a uh, transformation, uh, uh, you have like sort of a time limit on your hearts for when they go down, and when it goes it goes down to zero, um, you you you, you lose your transformation. But honestly, that rarely happens to me except for this stage. And and even then, it's very sel seldomly. So this, so this is the uh, the sort of a beach stage, so to say. This this is the only one where you get these forms. You only get two forms in this stage, so you gotta be really careful. You only get this regular form, and then you get his uh his his dolphin form. Um, th this stage used to be a lot harder, but ever since I I found out that if you do a slight jump, if you do a slight jump before those islands, it'll uh, sink you down below them. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but um, it's it's made the stage a lot easier to deal with. Um, not a lot to talk about otherwise on this stage. And then the next next one we get an underwater stage, and the under underwater stage is kind of like the flying stage, except it's a lot slower. Uh, you know, typical underwater stage. You get you get three forms. You get this form. Uh, you get the turtle form, and then you get the submarine form. And the first two forms really, really suck. And it's like you you want to get rid of them as as soon as possible. Um, the the this the submarine form is like like the one you need, not only for the boss, it's just in general because it's just you know actually usable. <coughs> And another thing about the stage is that it's like um, it can be really tri tricky to navigate because there's like so many paths to go down. But I I I I sort I, I sort of uh, routed it out pretty well. At least I figured. So then we get this fish boss. He's he's kind of like the uh, the flying robot boss from earlier, but he but those bubbles. Uh, go at kind of an angle, so it can be kind of difficult to dodge him. Of course, I body him right there, but it, but he can be pretty hard at certain points, especially if you don't have the submarine. Then it just takes forever to kill him, and it wastes a lot of time. <laughs> so this stage, so there is there is actually a difference between uh in in this stage between the NES and the Game Boy version, so. In the NES version, it had the heart counter, and you only get one form on the stage, so it's basically one hit, one kill. So while you're trying to avoid everything in this stage for like the next two minutes, um, your heart counter is slowly going down, so you have to keep an eye on that while you're trying not to get hit by anything. And that can be super annoying. They, they actually they, they, uh, they changed it in this port so that uh, your heart count, you don't, you don't really have a heart counter anymore, so it's just avoiding stuff, which makes it... A lot easier to deal with once you when once you sort of figure out the patterns and if you just sort of stay at the top, um, everything everything's simple. <clears throat> There's only like two aliens you have to worry about. And that's about it. But I, I I'm also trying to get my 
uh, Felix heads to nine, which I, I sort of screwed up on here. I actually went overboard, but um, I need I need it to nine for next level because it's the next platforming stage, and I I need a tank in it. So there's another alien, and then I think yeah. After this, uh, after you get that last alien and the rock, then you get like four, three or four uh, free um, Felix heads. But unfortunately, I don't have enough. We got the tank, which is unfortunate. Um, so this stage is basically a suicide run. Um, it, 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 if you actively try to dodge everything, it, it wastes time, which is really unfortunate. And I tried to try to get past that meter and it wasn't working. Um, I'm at a really bad point right here. Um, you really want at least a tank because you could just not really worry about it, just like run through it. But now you you you, you saw me duck under the meter right there. Um, you get like a small window of opportunity if you're a regular or a magician Felix to du duck under that meter, but it's not much and it's really risky. So I shockingly managed to get it through that stage, which when you're just like Magician Felix, like things don't look good. So here, here we are at the final level before the final boss. You see this gap right here, that gap I just jumped over. If you are in tank, it is impossible to to jump over that gap, and I I have no idea why. I don't know if it's if it's intentional or if it was a programming oversight, but it's like. The the first the the first several times I played this game I played a tank it's like I could never ever jump over that uh that gap right there I never really figured out why um the the first half of this level is really tricky there's a lot of places that can kind of like screw you out of your power up uh the the last half isn't too bad to deal with you basically got well okay I got hit right there but other than that it's 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 not really too, too difficult to deal with. So, for this boss, I, I basically have a pattern where I hit him once, I go down the first hat, <clears throat> and that resets his position next to me, so I get another hit in him. And I get two more hats to go down, so I can go down there, uh, power up the tank, and hit him again, go to the other one, quickly go back down, come back up again, he's right there, hit him. That's basically four free hits on him. And if you start with a tank, it's it, it's really good. If um, if if you're not the tank through the whole thing, it it kind of takes more hits. Um, if you're in a tank the whole time, it takes eight hits to kill him. But if you have other power ups, it uh it it takes a couple more. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I got him out of the way in the new uh new new personal best record, so to say, at least the current one. Technically, world record because nobody else is really playing this game. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, the the NES ending had him uh, on the spaceship with his girl here. He's just sort of staring at her while he's tied up. And then the end, I'm assuming she died. So, uh, yeah, that that is it. Uh, thank th thank you for watching. I hope I didn't stutter too much. I'll talk to you later.